Jenny always feared the homeless men on the street. She rolled up her car window when they asked for fun to eat. She never looked them in the eye or heard their tale of blues. She knew that any fun she gave could go for drugs or booze. Jenny wasn't heartless. She just couldn't stand the loser. She had a little sympathy for drug addicts and boozers. Jenny had a giving heart for those who stood on their feet. She could not comprehend how someone could give in to defeat. One day she saw an old homeless man in a hospital bed. Although the man was still alive, he looked to be half dead. His eyes looked so familiar, so she looked at the name on his chart. The man's name was her father's. She read with a sinking heart. On the streets in the ghetto down here on 14th Street, and in what they call the bottoms, I'm called the Water Man. I guess that's because I pass out water to people who are down here on a daily basis. I've been doing this for the last almost three years now. Every time I give a bottle of water, I give everybody a hug. You don't get a mug unless I get a hug. That's part of the deal. And they need that. They need someone to touch them and to look them in the eyes and say you care. How can we be America's finest city when in the shadow of that ballpark, I have people dying out here on this dirt because they don't have any water and because they don't have proper nourishment. And we have no mental homes for people. I have a woman that's right nearby us who is totally, totally dysfunctional. And she is a victim of the street and will die out here some way. And someday they'll find her under a bridge. Um, and it uh, happens day after day after day. The old man in the hospital died quietly as he slept. But Jenny was at his bedside and held his hand as she wept. He was buried in a veteran's cemetery. Only Jenny and her mom were there. There was no one else who seemed to know. Or perhaps didn't care. Bob Filner, the United States Congressman, uh, is coming down here today. We're on the corner of Island and 16th Street here. Congressman Filner is the only official that I've ever had contact me that would actually take himself out of his office and come down here and look at this problem. We do stand down three days a year. Yeah. We know how to do it. Yeah. We could do it 365 days a year. Yeah. Thank you. No, you said that before, and I, I believe that. We're spending a billion dollars every couple of days in Iraq. You would think that we have a day of the war for these folks. You see, that, that's my point exactly. I felt very helpless. I felt like there was nothing I could do as an individual. So some friends and I got together, and we met for dinner and talked about homelessness, and we decided to start this organization called Girls Think Tank. And so we've been doing it for about a year. For a while there, we handed out winter survival backpacks with all things warm and just really tried to convey a message of love and sort of to show that we cared. We've been now working on some issues around public bathrooms and water fountains because there are none in the city except for one down by the, the convention center. And so we're trying to work on that. Jenny had a giving heart for those who stood on their feet. She could not comprehend how someone could give in to defeat. She still doesn't give money to the homeless men on the street. But she does give them a coupon to get a bite to eat. At the shelter she has started, for those whose lives are bad And she named the homeless shelter After the hero Who was her dad